So this video is going to be a little different than my others because I'm actually talking in this one for once and that's because I'm going to show my entire K-pop album collection and it'd be easier to talk. So let's just get right into it. So the first group I have is my favorite of all favorites, Astro. For them, I have their first mini album, Spring Up. Their second mini album, Summer Vibes. Their third mini album, Autumn Story, both versions. Their special album, Winter Dream. And their fourth mini album, Dream Part 1, both versions. Their fifth mini album, Dream Part 2, both versions. Giant boxes. And I also have their limited edition special version of dream part two I'm not sure if it's just limited or special but i have that and then i have their special mini album rise up which is one of my favorite albums by them well mini albums at least because my favorite album is actually this one their first full-length album all light which i have both versions of and I also have a all member signed copy of the white version of their first full album because I just love Astro and I wanted to have at least one signed album by them and what better way to have one than their first full length album. So that's all the albums I have for Astro which is actually all their albums because like I said they're my favorite and I love all their music so I wanted to get all of them. Now moving on. So next I have ATEEZ's first mini album, Treasure Episode 1, All to Zero. Their second mini album, Treasure Episode 2, Zero to One. And their third mini album, Treasure Episode 3, One to All, both versions. I have AB6's first mini album, Be Complete all three versions. And I also have a signed version of the well, a signed I version of their mini album because I just wanted an album signed by all of them, which it looks really pretty anyways. So that's it for AB6. Next, I have one team's first mini album, Hello, and their second mini album, Just, and that's all for them. Then I have another group, Ace, that's close to my heart which is their Adventures in Wonderland album repackage and their second mini album, Undercover. And that's all I have for them. Next, I have Pentagon, their first mini album, Pentagon. Their second mini album, Five Senses. Third mini album, Ceremony. Fourth mini album, Demo of One. Fifth mini album, Demo of Two. Sixth mini album, Positive. Seventh mini album, Thumbs Up. Eighth mini album, Genius. And their ninth mini album, Summer. And I have all their albums as you can tell, so that's just because I really love Pentagon and their music. That's all I really have to say about that, but that's everything for them. I have Woosik and Kwanlin's 9801 unit album. Sorry if I horribly pronounced their names, but it's just, I guess, a unit album. That's that. Then I have Cherry Bullet first single album, Let's Play Cherry Bullet, and their second single album, Love Adventure. I also have a all-numbered signed copy of both of those because couldn't really see some of the signatures on this one, so I wanted to get this one, but that's that. Then I have Itzy's first mini album. It's Icy, both versions, and that's all Itzy has. Okay, so next I have another favorite of mine. I have a lot of favorites, so you're gonna hear that a lot, but I love all these groups and all their music, so that's why they're a favorite. But anyways, I have Boys' second mini album, The Start. This is the ready version, I believe. Uh, I know for sure it's their like limited special version. 
of the album and that's the only version I have of that one because I just got it when I found it because it wasn't listed too many places and I haven't gotten around to getting the other two versions but I do want to get them one day. Then I have their first mini album, The Sphere, both versions. I have their third mini album, The Only, all three versions. I have their second single album, Bloom Bloom, both versions. And then lastly, I have their fourth mini album, Dreamlike, all three versions, which looks completely different from all their other albums. But anyway, that's all I have for the boys. I would like to try to complete their discography, the albums, before the end of the year, but I'll have to see how that goes with all these other comebacks coming up. So that's all for the boys. Next, I have CIX's first mini album, Hello Chapter 1, Hello Stranger, both versions, and I also have a signed copy of the Hello version, which their signatures are kind of a mess, and I don't know whose is whose exactly, but it is what it is. So that's all for them. Next, I have SF9's first mini album, Burning Sensation. Their second mini album, Breaking Sensation, which I love the holographic colors on this so much. Then I have their third mini album, Nights of the Sun. And their fourth mini album, Mamma Mia, the regular and special version. I have their fifth mini album, Sensuous, both versions. Oh my gosh, everything is falling over. There we go. I have their sixth mini album, Narcissus, both versions. And lastly, their seventh mini album, RPM, both versions. And that's all I have for SF9. I'm only missing their first single album, which I'd like to get by the end of the year, but I don't have all the money in the world, so I'll have to see how that goes. Goes. Moving on. Next, I have Only One Of's first mini album, Dot Point Jump, both versions. And this is a group that's become a quick favorite of mine. I just really like their music. It seems different from what I normally like, but I love it. And that's it for them. Okay, next I have a group that's very special to me, which is Victon. I have their third mini album, Identity, their fourth mini album, From Victim, and their first single album, Time of Sorrow, which unfortunately that's all I have for Victim. I would like to get their other albums before the end of the year, but that de all depends on how many comebacks and other things I'm going to be buying for the last few months. So I'll see how that goes, but that's all I have for Victim for now. Next, I have New East, which I have their first single, Face, their third mini album, which I believe is called Sleep Talking, and their fifth mini album, Canvas, which was the last before New East W, with all the produced, produce 101 stuff. So I have their New East W's second mini album, Who You Both Versions, and New East W's third mini album, Wake, a Wake N, all three versions. And the last thing I have for New East is their sixth mini album, Happily Ever After, all four versions, which look beautiful. But that's all I have for New East right now. Hopefully I could get more of their albums in the future, but I'll just have to wait and see. So that's it for them. And then I have Rocket Punch's first mini album, Pink Punch, which they've only just debuted, so that's all there is for them. I have Stray Kids mixtape, their pre-debut release. Their first mini album, I Am Not, both versions. Their second mini album, I Am Who, both versions. Then I have their third mini album, I Am You, both versions. Then I have their fourth mini album, The One Moreau, all three versions. And last but not least, I have their special album, Clue to Yellowwood, 
all three versions. And that's everything I have for Stray Kids and all their albums too because I love Stray Kids. So that's that. Next I have One Us, their first mini album Light Us, and their second mini album Raise Us, both versions. And that's all for One Us. Then I have X1, their first mini album, which is Upside Down. <laughs> their first mini album, Quantum Leap, both versions. And that's all they have. Next, I have VAV's fourth mini album, Their La Killa, and their spe summer special single, Give Me More, which I also have an all member signed copy of that because I just really vote for the Music Fest and wanted to have an album signed by all. So that's all for BAV. Next, I have JBJ95, their first mini album, Home, both versions. Their second mini album, Awake, both versions. And their third mini album, Spark, both versions. Which I also got a signed copy of the Chapter 2 version of Spark because I adore JBJ95 and their signatures look really cute. So that's all for them. Next I have Uptension's seventh mini album, Labyrintho, both versions, and their eighth mini album, The Moment of Illusion, both versions, which as you can see, my Uptension collection is very small. I've only recently got into their music, but I would really like to get some more of their albums in the future. But this is all I have for now. Next I have Wiki Mickey's first mini album. Is it Weem or Weem Me? I'm not really sure, but I have both the regular and the limited edition version of it. Then I have their first single album, Kiss Kicks, both versions, which I love this album. Crush was the song that made me a huge fan of Wiki Nikki. And then I have their second single album, Lock and LOL, both versions. And last for Wiki Mickey, I have their second single album, Repackage, Week and LOL, which why Fantasio had to go with the jewel case, I don't even know. But that's all for Wiki Mickey. Then I have Golden Child's third mini album, Wish, both versions, and unfortunately this is all I have for Golden Child, but I would like to get more of their stuff one day. But this is all I have for now. Next I have Seventeen's Love and Letter repackage album. The special edition version. Their fourth mini album, AL1, all three versions. I hope that's actually called AL1. I am never really sure. And then I have their special album, Director's Cut, both versions. Their is it fifth mini album, You Make My Day all three versions, and their sixth mini album, You Made My Dawn, all three versions. And that's all I have for Seventeen right now, and hopefully I'll get some more albums in the future. But that's it. Next I have Blackpink, their first mini album, Square Up, both versions. I have Jenny's solo album solo? Don't think it's quite an album, but there's that. And, well, that's a postcard. <laughs> Forgot I had that there. Last but not least, I have their second mini album, Kill This Love, both versions. And that's everything for Blackpink. Then I have Day Six, their second mini album, Daydream. Their first full album, Sunrise. Their second full album, Moonrise, both versions. Oh no, their stickers are getting caught. Then I have their third mini album, Shoot Me Youth Part 1. 
Then I have their fourth mini album, Remember Us Youth Part 2, both versions. And then last for day six, I have their fifth mini album, The Book of Us Gravity, both versions, which is actually right now my favorite album they've ever released up to this point. So that's it for day six. And then I have N Flying. I believe this is their fourth mini album, Spring Memories. But that's all I have for them. Then I have BTS, their second mini album, School Love Affair, their first album, Dark and Wild, their special album, Young Forever, both versions. Then I have their repackage album, You Never Walk Alone, both versions. I have their fifth mini album, Love Yourself, Her, all four versions. Then I have their third album, Love Yourself, Tear all four versions. Then I have their third album repackaged, all four versions, which this is Love Yourself Answer. And then last but not least, I have their sixth mini album, Map of the Soul Persona, all four versions. I swear, BTS has another four version release. I might not get all four. There's too many versions. But that's all for BTS. It isn't really a lot of albums, but because there's a lot of versions, there's a lot. I have GOT 7's third mini album, Just Right, their fifth mini album, Flight Log Departure, both versions, their second album, Flight Log Turbulence, which was random versions, I only have one, the group version. Then I have their sixth mini album, Flight Log Arrival both versions. Then I have their seventh mini album, 7 for 7, the present edition versions. Then I have their third album, Present You, which was random versions, but I have the group version. Then I have their third album, Repackage, Present You and Me, all three versions. And then I have their ninth mini album, Spinning Top, Between Security and Insecurity which was three random versions as well, and I have the and version. So that's everything they have for GOT7. I have Monsta X's third mini album, The Clan Part 1, Lost, both versions. I have their album repackage, Shine Forever, both versions. Then I have their second album, are You There? Well, take one, Are You There? All four versions. And I have their second album, Take Two, We Are Here, all four, all four versions. And that's all I have for Monsta X. It's small, but I love these albums. So, next, I have Icon's New Kid Repackage. The New Kids, both versions, which that's all I have for Icon. I have Mamamoo's ninth mini album, White Wind, all I have for Mamamoo as well. I have Idol's first mini album, I Am, and their second mini album, I Made. I have Kristen V's Like a V single album, which has... Rina on the back, and that's all I have for Kristen. I have Twice's first mini album, The Story Begins. I have their second special album, Summer Nights, all three versions. And I have their sixth mini album, Yes or Yes, all three versions. And I have their third special album, The Year of Yes, both versions. And last but not least for Twice, I have their seventh mini album, Fancy You, all three versions. I have Everglow's first single album, Arrival of Everglow, and their second single album, Hush. I have TXT's first mini album, The Dream Chapter Star. I have Red Velvet's first mini album, Ice Cream Cake, both versions. 
I have their first album, The Red. And I have their summer album, The Red Summer. And I have their fifth mini album, Really Bad Boy. And their sixth mini album, The Rev Festival, Day One. And that's all I have for Red Velvet. I have NCT's full album, NCT 2018 Empathy Bowl versions. I have NCT 127's first full album, Regular Irregular Bowl versions. I also have NCT 127's first album repackage, Jungwoo's cover. And then I have NCT 127's fourth mini album, We Are Superhuman. Which, that's all I have for NCT. And the last group I have is Purple Beck, their first mini album, Crystal Ball. So there you have it. That was my entire album collection. Every single album. That took a while. But before I end the video, I'm just going to quickly show how everything looks on my shelves in case you wanted to see a shelf tour. So let's get to that. Okay, so I have two shelves of K-pop albums. This is the first one, which you can see everything all together. And on the top, I have my signed albums, Guarded by Toothless and His Family, because I love How to Train Your Dragon, and I just had to get the Build-A-Bears. I'm clearly not too old for Build-A-Bear, I don't know what you're talking about. But, so, first I have Astro, then AB6, and CIX, which is standing on a box because I wanted to be able to see all the albums, but I didn't want any of them to block any of them entirely, and CIX's signatures aren't the prettiest, so they went in the back. Sorry, CIX. Then over here, I have VAV, JBJ95, and Cherry Bullet. So that's all the signed albums. I really like the way this display looks. It's a little crowded, but I still like it. And going down, I have Astro, ATs, AB6, One Team, and Ace. Then I have Pentagon, Cherry Bullet, and Itzy. Then on the second level, I have The Boys. So let me move this. And CIX. It's a little cramped. And then in the middle, I have SF9 and only one of. Then down here, I have Victon, New East, and Rocket Punch, which I really like the way Victon and New East albums look right next to each other. It's really pretty. Anyway, for right the bottom shelf down here, I have Stray Kids, X1, and if I can move X1, behind X1 is One Us. And then this over here is actually Astro's Ordinary Holiday Summer Photo Book. I just keep it in the bubble wrap because it's leaning against the shelf and I don't want it to get dinged. Then down here in the middle on the bottom, I have VAV, JBJ95, Uptension, Wiki Mickey, and Golden Child. Surprise, so many groups fit on one shelf, but they're clearly outgrowing the shelf already, so there's going to be some moving around soon. Then over here, I have 17, which if I move the one DVD, there's everything all on one shelf, which that won't be the case anymore with their newest release. But I can't do anything about that. And then down over here, I just have Blackpink Jenny's solo photo book, because there's no room for it on the shelf. So that's everything for this shelf. Here's my second shelf, which is definitely a little more cramped than the other one. But there's nothing on the top except a TV that I can't even actually watch TV on, just DVDs. But anyway, I have Blackpink, and flying is right over there, and Day 6. And then this shelf, I have just one of Day 6's albums on the end there because it couldn't fit on the other one. And then I have BTS, which BTS also has a second shelf. 
and a third shelf because they have so many things. Also, this isn't K-pop related, but this is Little Mix. Great group, you should check them out. They're not K-pop, they're a British girl group, but still just as good. Then over here, I have GOT7, which as you can see, their albums all don't really fit on the shelf, but I didn't want to just put two on the other on the next shelf, which is Monster X, which still fits on the shelf and it looks quite nice. It's all the same colors mostly. Then down here I have a mixture of groups, which is Icon, Mamamoo, Idol, and Pristin. And then down here in the middle I have Twice, which as you can see I have plenty of pre-order freebies from them. And then down here I gotta move Little Mix aside again. I have Everglow, TXT, Red Velvet, NCT, and Purple Black is right down there, but you really can't see it, but I swear it's there. So that's everything on both my shelves, which I think they both look really nice laid out together. But that's everything on both my shelves, and I think they all, all the islands look really nice together. Personally, this one I think is prettier because I love all the colors, but yeah, that's everything. So, thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and maybe check out the rest of my channel. Bye!